your master mechanic here at General Rental Center. Got a Spartan RZHD, 48 inch mower, brand new. Got up here on the shelf, uh, we've had some requests on the parking brake uh, adjustments and stuff. Guys, I'll tell you about your uh, zero turns. Uh, within, if this thing's trailered more than it's actually running, you're probably going to need to adjust this brake uh, in about the first 10 15 hours. Uh, just to just to keep it set. If it's set in your garage, you're getting it out, you're mowing your yard, and you're putting it back up, no big deal. But uh, if it's going to be on a trailer, which a lot of these are uh, most of the time, you're going to have to do some adjustments. So, uh, innovative design here. Spartan has put your parking brake assembly down here at your feet. Got the pedal on the left is locked, pedal on the right unlocks it. So, uh, that's how it operates. You'll watch here the rod that's connected to it does move. Uh, so we're going to trace this rod back here under the seat, under the battery, and it comes right back here to this bar. So this bar is what connects your parker transmissions to the parking brake. You're going to see here you've got your parking brake safety switch, uh, and then you'll have a couple other nuts and bolts and stuff that we'll show you. So. I'm going to cut loose, we're going to come lift this up so you can see it and uh, go from there. Alright guys, now uh, back here we kind of followed our brake rod back here to the back. We've got two nuts here, 9 sixteenths. We've got one on the back side, one on the front. So we're going to put our, hold our back side. And then I'm going to loosen. And loosen our back here and then we can adjust from here. Okay. Now we've got everything loose. We can take our our back end out here. And all I'm doing is just loosening it or actually kind of tightening it, but I'm just moving it. Moving it forward about a quarter of an inch, eighth to a quarter of an inch. And that way, uh, when we pull it forward, all we want to do is make sure once it's all said and done that we are making contact here with our safety switch so that uh, this is your safety switch for the brake. And if it doesn't engage that, you're not going to be able to start your motor. So um, I'm going to go engage the parking brake. Just kind of see where we are. Uh, if our adjustment's still good, we're still good on our on our switch there. So let's tighten this one back up. Okay, and then I'm going to hold this backer. And then this will get it good and tight. And we've tightened up our brake switch, our, our brake lever. Still on our safety switch, still connected here, so we're still activating the, the brake on our Parker transmission. So that's a quick, easy adjustment. Uh, guys, like I said, probably 10, 15 hours into the use of it. If it's on the trailer a lot, probably going to need to do that just to tighten it up. Um, so now we're going to get out from underneath it and uh, we'll go to the Parker transmissions and I'll show you a little bit more of a brake adjustment. Alright guys, uh, on our RGHD here we've uh, adjusted our parking brake rod. And now I'm going to show you some aspects of the actual parking or the brakes on your mower. Uh, it is a full brake drum system so we're going to be on the right hand side here. I'm going to get this tire off. And uh, we'll show you inner workings of the brake drum on your uh, mower. There. Get our tire off. Guys, you can see our drum right here. I've already loosened this knot just to keep from having to run the impact. Uh, if yours has the castle nut, you're going to have to remove your cotter pin. This one did not, so take that nut off here. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and remove our, our drum. I'm going to be real cautious when you do take this off. You've got your woodruff key here. Don't lose that. Don't drop it in the grass. So um, let's turn our parking brake off. You kind of see, and you guys that are familiar with drum brakes, it's a pretty simple operation. When we put our parking brake on, you're going to see your, your shoes are going to kick out. Same setup as you'd have on your car. You're going to have your springs. There's another adjustment, and you got to get to the back side, but I want to show you here, just like any regular drum brakes, uh, there's an access window on the back side of your drums. You can put your screwdriver in and, and rotate this. And that's going to spread that out and that'll tighten up your drums too uh, if you're still sliding this one's still new so uh, there's really no reason to adjust that part of it but guys pretty simple setup uh, it's a drum brake system uh, that's what holds your mower when you when you have it on the trailer when you have your brake engaged so you can kind of see everything that acts on it uh, this is the piece that goes up under and hooks to the arm you know, that hooks to the bar that hooks to your pedal so uh, pretty simple little system you know, real easy to adjust real easy to maintain uh, you know I don't think you're doing highway speed so these shoes are probably going to last quite a while uh, I can't imagine you having to ever replace the shoes on that but um, guys appreciate the the request for the parking brake adjustment and uh, we'll we will keep getting on the rest of them and let you know when we have another video thanks and God bless